For a while now, Lamidia Papa has been parading himself as the acting chairman of the Labour Party. Just last Friday, he caught in Abuja of all that Lamidia Papa is the acting chairman of the PDP, which I presume was why Lamidia Papa instructed the lawyers in charge of the tri uh, tribunal petition of um, Peter Obi to report back to him in 48 hours. <laughs> you guys imagine. Uh, the, the lawyers then responded by saying that he wasn't the one that, that briefed them. He wasn't the one that gave them the assignment. So they have no business with him and are not ready to, you know, report back to him which was why Lamidia Papa showed up in court today. You guys would not believe the kind of commotion that happened in court today, but we are going to get into all that in a bit. But before we do so, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please and please subscribe. You don't want to miss the juicy news I have for you. Please subscribe, turn on the post notification bell, give this video a massive thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Drama. Lamidia Papa was embarrassed in court. See why he was chased out during Obi's petition hearing. In a series of events that unfolded on Wednesday morning, Lamidia Papa, the acting chairman of the Labour Party, made an appearance at the premises of the presidential election petitions tribunal in Abuja for the ongoing hearing on the outcome of the 2023 presidential elections. A papa's status as the acting national chairman was affirmed by a federal high court in Abuja last Friday, unless superseded by another court order. Consequently, he arrived at the appeal court in Abuja to join the continuation sessions of a pre-hearing of a presidential election tribunal, which was scheduled to resume on that day. However, upon attempting to occupy the seat reserved for the national chairman, Julius Abure, Apapa encountered resistance from certain party members resulting in an altercation. In a video, according in a video recording from the scene, captured, capturing the incident, revealing the tense confrontation. Ultimately, a papa decided to walk away after being denied the opportunity to take a seat in the appeal court. Meanwhile, the case filed by the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party (PDP). Atiku Abubakar and Peter Obi of the Labour Party against President-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu is being presided over by a panel of judges at the tribunal. Leading the panel is Justice Aruno Samani. Atiku and Obi lodged a legal challenge before the court to contest the declaration of Tinubu as the victor of a February 25th 2023 presidential election. The proceedings are being overseen by a panel of five justices, including Justice Aruno Samani, Justice Sivin Ada, Justice Misitura Bolaji Yusuf, Justice Boloko Romo Moses Ugo, and Justice Abba Mohammed. As the hearings progress, the spotlights will remain on the Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal as it delves into the arguments put forth by the plaintiffs and defendants. The outcome of this case will undoubtedly have far-reaching implications for the political landscape and legitimacy of a recently concluded presidential election. The Nigerian public awaits further development as the tribunal continues its important work and the controversies surrounding the Labour Party's acting chairman and the electoral outcome are closely 
monitored although you know it's been concluded that the tribunal is not going to be televised um Atik, Atik Abubakar put submitted you know a request should we, let me say a request saying that the electoral tribunal pe petition should be aired live you know on national tv for nigerians to be able to watch you know it's just not enough that people know that you know justice is being carried out but people should also be able to see that the processes and you know the way in which the justice that the, the way in which justice is being carried out you know is the right way or goes through the right process and there's no you know any biases involved now uh to the labor party crisis hmm. you all imagine the kind of commotion that happened in court how can a political party has you know in essence labor party have two chairmen one is Lamidia Papa on one side and another person, Julius Abure. At the moment, Julius Abure is claiming he's the legitimate party chairman, while Lamidia Papa is also claiming that, you know, he has the backing of the court because, of course, the court declared that uh, Lamidia Papa is or should be the party acting chairman. And we all know that, you know, Julius Abure, Abure has a lot of support from a lot of people, including Peter Obi himself. And I feel that because Lamidia Papa knows that he has the backing of the court, that was why he had, you know, that boldness to go to court. And he actually wanted to sit on Abure's seat, like where Abure is supposed to sit down. Sit, sit. Uh, Lamidi wanted to sit, go and sit there. Although he wasn't allowed and eventually, you know, you know, he left the court. You guys, what do you think is going to happen last last? Because this crisis within the Labour Party is dragging on for too long. I did not even know it was going to last, last as long as this. What do you think should be done? What do you think Peter Obi should do at this point? Because whether you like it or not, it is going to, you know, affect the case, their petition that they are putting forward in court. Because at this point, I feel Lamidi is trying to jeopardize what they have, and it shouldn't be that way. But like I said, let me have your opinions in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. Bye for now.